Hello, my name is Roy Ramos. I'm here to talk to you today about taking accurate vital signs. As with any skill, I will first don my BSI. For this skill, I will be using gloves. The ability to properly assess vital signs will dictate how you care for your patient throughout your EMS career. We are going to demonstrate the proper method for taking a blood pressure, assessing a pulse, and determining respirations. First, I'm going to demonstrate how to take a blood pressure. I will make sure I have the properly sized blood pressure cuff and stethoscope. Next, I will apply the proper size cuff above the arterial point. I will locate an, an arterial point distal to the cuff. I will place the diaphragm of the stethoscope on the arterial point. I will inflate the cuff above the Kortikoff sound. I slowly release the cuff pressure. I identify the systolic and diastolic pressures, verbalize and document the results. Another method of determining blood pressure is by palpation. To do this, I once again apply the properly sized blood pressure cuff above the arterial point. I locate and palpate the arterial point distal to the cuff. I inflate the cuff until the pulse is lost. I slowly release the air until the patient returns at which point I can identify the systolic pressure. I then record the results. Now, I assess the patient's pulse. To do this, I will palpate an arterial pulse point. The most common area are the carotid and the radial arteries. In children, we can also assess the brachial artery. I will appropriately calculate the heart rate. I assess the pulse for 15 seconds and multiply by four, or 30 seconds and multiply by two. I record and verbalize my results including the rate and quality. To finish obtaining a set of vital signs, I assess the patient's respirations. To do this, I need to watch the patient breathe. I count the respirations for 30 seconds and multiply by two. It is important not to let the patient know you are assessing their respiration since they can voluntarily change their breathing pattern. Once I have my rate calculated, I record and verbalize the results. Correctly assessing vital signs is a critical skill that builds a foundation of sound clinical practice. Thanks for watching, good luck, and stay safe.